what is Bounty Caster and how does it actually work? Well, essentially it's just a bot, right? It's Bounty Bot. You can post bounties and services on Farcaster by taking me. Well, okay. Let's have a look. What does it post? Um, it posts some sort of link, an image, right? Where it's like, oh, 420 Degen Bounty by somebody. Okay, this is a Farcaster user on Bounty Caster and there's a description. We can view it. Let's view it. Okay, here's a description. Here's what we should do. Design the flow in Figma, Mint, whatever, right? There's a, what it essentially is, is you're putting out a task that someone else can complete, or like we are just right now, you're looking at tasks. You can see a due date, you can see that it's still open, and you can basically go and be like, oh yeah, I can do that. Easy, easy money, right? The, or this would be fun, let me try it. First of all here, Spencer is like, oh, Sway market creator with the most highest total Sway betting volume in Season 7 will get 100 USDC, which is basically a marketing campaign for him. And what can we do? We can pitch in funds. Because, well, okay, we like it. We'll be like, yes, we'll add 5 USDC to Spencer's bounty. And if we click it, then we will confirm. And now we have basically added 5 USDC to that bounty. We'll get a notification. We can go. And we have just added 5 USDC to this bounty. We'll get a notification if Spencer marks it as complete. And then we will also pay out 5 USDC. 5 US dollars in that case. USDC because crypto, right? Well, fun. Cool. So this is basically how it works. This is how we do bounties. How we could do bounties. We could just go here and just like, I was the highest, highest total here is my screenshot and then you can post your screenshot reply below and then spencer will get notified and you will also see it if you go to the web page because here there are all the replies let's look at the sample this is also on supercast this is a whole other app like the app we saw before where we looked it's uh, webcast and uh, this is now a whole different app but still the same bounty because we're on the underlying farcaster that's cool so same thing okay we we see that stuff we can view and oh something went wrong well weird we can still click it and uh, and we can go through because i already opened it and we can click it and we, we can see it so right um this is the actual bounty this is bounty caster the web page and from here we can simply see oh this is the actual description for around three thousand four hundred us dollars it's due in 14 days still open and hey there's somebody who said this is my github i'm going to start a proof of concept nice so they're looking forward to it they want to work on it i basically said hey really nice make sure you actually read the stuff so i get notified about that person wanting to work on it i can give them pointers make it easy for them and then if if they completed it well i simply go to this post right here i could go into admin right admin and this is all i do i literally just wait for a little bit and then i will get the notification and the view and be like okay yeah i can complete this bounty i can uh, cancel it or i can tell that it is in progress by uh, coding as h in that case but what i can also do is i can also use these commands so in this case i could go edit the deadline for example and then it is the same flow as we saw earlier for the UCC. So if I put in first of um, like the first of May, oh, be careful! This is actually US time zones, so you can see this is month, month, day, day instead of the international or the ESO where it would have the year. And then we can confirm, right? We don't want to change anything here. We could also go here and be like, oh, bounty bot cancel. So if I want to cancel that bounty, I go bounty bot cancel. And that's how this works. And now I can also use these commands, right? Well, what if I want to post a bounty, right? Let's create a new one. We're in our favorite Farcaster client. We go cast and now we can create stuff. And I'm like, this is a fun bounty. Whoever replies first will get a uh, $2,500 degen tip tomorrow at bounty. At bounty board. Okay. So we just type. How you create a bounty is simply like I did there, just type. And if you're like, oh, the first two who reply, okay. Then we'll go whoever, no. 
the first two replies will get a $2,500 DGEN tip tomorrow at BountyBot. And BountyBot will be like, no problem. Let's try it, right? Okay. What do we get? We refresh. And now BountyBot is like, oh yeah, this is confirmed. But we don't want this bounty because we don't have that much. So we can simply go edit status and we can cancel it right here. It's just going to take a while. Edit status. Cancel. Because that's what we actually want to do. But we could also go and be like, oh, we want to like check one claim off the bounty. So we can go, okay, confirm minus one claim. So if somebody has already done the task, yes, it is updated. Somebody did it. We're good. Uh, and we can also do that again. We c or we can go edit status and now we can cancel it. But we don't want to cancel it. I'll show you the command. We can also go add bounty bot cancel. Right? And then this will also just cancel that bounty. So you can see, you can use the frames, so you can use that little interface that the, the bot posts below, or you can simply po use the bot itself. And, well, now we actually just cancel it. And the bot says, oh, it's been canceled. Well, can we actually view that on the web page? Sure. Why not? We can go here. This was our bounty. We can click on it. It's here. And it says canceled. See? And it also picked up the claims. It picked up the amount. It picked up everything. It is literally, you go, you type whatever you want, and if there's an error, the bot will tell you there's an error. If there's no error, you'll simply see it like this, and you can check it. If you want to create the single bounty again, we can do this fun stuff. Oh, this is just one, right? Whoever. Well, will the bot pick it up? Let's see. Let's see. You can go like, um, yep, notifications, check our replies. Oh. The bot says there's a new bounty. We have been tagged. So the bot actually has a, like a live ticker or something. And then, well, okay, here's our bounty. We're going to let that stand. And then we can be like, yep, this is fun. And we can also now be like, okay, yeah. Um, actually, this is bounty bot in progress at DTEC is working on it. Um, so we can do that. And now the bot will reply again. So we can just simply refresh. And this may like take a while. Oh, somebody actually replied. Um, so you actually won. So we can also simply go back into our little frame. And data then was a little bit faster, as you can see here. So we can take a screenshot of that. And simply go, OK. Um, claimed. By data then, welcome to the bounty caster explainer video. And then we can basically give him the tip tomorrow, as we said. So this is will just going to be run, and we can also use the remind me bot, remind me payout tip and close uh, payout tip. So, and we can go. 20 hours. So now we actually get a reminder. We just used another bot. Remind me. So now that this bounty is complete, we will go admin. We could also use the, the stuff here, but we will just use the frame. We can go edit status. We can go complete. And we can tag the user so we can look it up. It's data then dot eth. Confirm. Woohoo! Wait a little bit. Marked as complete. View it on the web page. Just simply check. Still says in progress, but here's all the updates we did, right? It's in progress, whatever. Here's the people. And that's fun. It now says we just updated the I just updated the page, it now says complete. Isn't that cool? Now we can now that we're on the page, what can we actually do on the Bounty Castle webpage? Now that we're looking at bounties and there's some action going on. We can go to data then and actually see. Well, then completed bounties, 25 of them, for a total of $8,800. Actually, quite a lot. That's cool. What did you complete? Okay, yeah, some some degen bounties. Actually, build stuff, identify details. Okay. He built an application using Noir for $5,000.
that is awesome. And that's a bounty that he completed. And we can actually just simply check this by going on the web page. But what would you use this for? Well, if somebody posts a bounty, you can go here and check. Okay. So if we just simply cross check me, you can go here. You can see, oh, I have actually posted bounties for a combined $3,500. I've posted a service and I have completed bounties for a little like small amount. And you can also check that, right? So this is basically how you can cross check people. If you're hiring, you could also use this and, and, and you can use the search function, go bounties, all categories. We just want to hire a dev and we want to hire backend. Okay, no backend. We want to hire data. Is there any data? We want to go to completed bounties. Oh, there is actually a data bounty. Oh, recommended service that provides blockchain data. Um, whatever, right? Go there and you can actually see whoever completed it and whatever completed by this guy. Now you can actually see this is a user. You can check what they'd have done. You can go here, which basically shows you the profile. And now you can actually go message them and be like, hey, I saw your data bounty. Please come work with me, right? And that's all you can do through a bounty caster. And you can also go to the web page. You can sort like we just saw. You can go for the open ones, sort by value, and do the one that pays the most. You can go to services and check who's offering the what service. Okay. So Michael is working as your full stack engineer, and he's he's doing that for two hundred dollars an hour. So. You could do that. There's also some video editing in here. And there's all kinds of different services. That is that web page. There are now also jobs. So if you're, if you're looking to get jobs or hire, you could go here. You can also go to interested.xyz. Um, no, dot FYI. Interested.fyi. If you're hiring, shout out to Alec. Spelling an amazing thing. You could also sub sub subscribe to Bounty. So if you go example at mymail.org and i want to see dev bounties i can simply just click subscribe right i can also create a bounty from here but now i would need to log in but i actually don't have my phone with me my hands are bare so this is basically how bounty castle works as a whole and i know this has been a rather quick okay yeah, we go from well simply looking at bounties to exploring the web page doing bounties and all that but this is all if you have any questions always go to bounty castle xyz Click on FAQ and go here, right? So if we slow it down, what is Bounty Caster? We can just click here, look at it. For Bounty Posters, how do I post? Descriptions, right? It is all described here. So simply, if you have any questions, go there. If you have any bugs, you can simply go to your webcast, to your potential, whatever it is, funnel of bounty, and you can go, uh, oh, hey, Linda, I have a problem with this bounty. Can you fix? Thank you. My typing is messed up, whatever. Right, but like Linda will then come and help you. So this is Linda. Just tag Linda and Linda will help you. And that's all. This has been Bounty Cast. I hope you had fun. Hope it helped. If you have any questions, also feel free to just comment or tag Linda, tag me, Samuel Hoover on, on Webcast and Farcaster in general and check it out.